and told me that I was positive for methamphetamines. And I was like, what? I was like, I ain't never used methamphetamines in my life. I've never been around a person that, you know, used or anything. told us that it was an open and closed case because it was so small. Well, nine months later, they went to the schoolhouse and picked him up. You know, and we was like, you know, out of the blue, we didn't know anything. And so they sent the, the police department to find us on allegations. So when they found us, you know, they took us to jail or whatever their protocol was. And, uh, Cause my wife, she had her medicine on her, you know, like the in the inside the uh the the normal weekly thing, you know, like uh one Monday through Friday or whatever. So she had her dosage on it. Well, the police asked her what what was it? She told it was her uh, medication. Well, he told her to get out of the car. She was trying to take her medicine because part of her medicine is psych medicine, and uh they choked her out. And I was like, why are y'all choking her? You know, I asked the question. Well, the police, like, tripped me and made me fall on the ground. And I was like, what did you do that for? I'm not being aggressive. And he said, he's the police. He can do what he want to do. So they took us to jail and everything. We got out. I got out, like, the morning where my wife was still in there because they had posted her fund, like, ten times higher than mine because of her own medicine. So I ended up getting out. When I, when I got out and I, like, kind of dozed off because I got out, like, at 5 or something in the morning the next day. Well, when I woke up, they had sent me a picture message with a letter saying that they removed my son because of this. So I immediately called them and, you know, asked them, you know, what was going on. Well, they told me, well, all they know is that I have to do these certain things to get him back. Well, I told them, I said, I was going to go bomb my wife out of jail and we want to see our son. Well, they told us that we couldn't see our son unless we took, took a drug test. So, you know, we was like, okay, you know, at first we was like standoffish about it. But, you know, it's our son, so we went on and took it. They gave him a, a hair follicle test. He came back negative. Well, the allegations that they had against us was drug exposure, uh, drug selling, and uh, something else, like drug use. So, some of those allegations wasn't, they wasn't factual, you know, so we tried to tell them about it and, you know, they didn't care, you know, they put him in a uh, foster home the next day after, you know, and, you know, oh, we were trying to, you know, get a visitation with them and they was like, well, you got to take a drug test. So me and my wife went on and took the drug test. The first drug test we took was clean. Well, they immediately had us take another drug test not even three weeks later and told me that I was positive for methamphetamines. And I was like, what? I was like, I ain't never used methamphetamines in my life. I've never been around a person that, you know, used or anything. Come to find out, they took another hair follicle and it wasn't even in the test. So I told them, y'all, y'all was lying. I told them that they was lying about it. You know, they just struggled and laughed and told us that we had certain things to do to get him back. Well, we proceeded on doing some of those things that they had. It was like a handful of things that we could have done. But like the bigger things, they took to the judge and had the judge sign off on them, but they never gave them to us. And then we gave him a lawyer. Hey, guys, I got to interrupt you because we're coming to the end of the show. But I do want to continue this conversation with you. Can you call me tomorrow at my office? Yes, Triple eight, triple eight, six five eight two eight 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 six five eight two. So call me tomorrow, and we'll continue this conversation because I would like to hear, hear more. But thank you for calling, and thank you for listening today. Um, this is the secret: how to fight CPS and win. 
And before we go off, I want to tell Bill from California, Nas from California, Lindsay from Oregon, and Rico from Colorado. Um, I'm going to be giving you a call either tomorrow or Monday. I want to thank you for calling in, but I couldn't get to your calls this evening uh, on the call board, but I will be giving you a call separately off of the radio. Mm-hmm.